All right, here we are outside of Parkstone. Um, it is just two lots in from the intersection of Parkstone and Quarrystone, and that is right on the south side of U Stick. Um, kind of feel for the neighborhood, a mix of single and two stories. Do want to point out on this side of the yard, looks like there's enough room to pull in a trailer or back in a trailer there. It is just grass coming across. The exterior has been painted recently, as long as a newer roof. Coming down this way, kind of give you a shot of the side yard. A um, bunch of bushes grown up here to kind of create a natural barrier. Um, work our way inside. So, two car garage. And then when you come up to, well, I guess first, the driveway and the sidewalk are in pretty good condition. Um, typical cracks just with as things age. Right here you see a little bit of wear and one piece it's missing out. Um, then coming in, this area is covered, the front little section here. As soon as you walk in, there's a uh, LVP style wood flooring. And you walk right into the living room. And got a big window there. You got a fireplace tilted at an angle, along with vaulted ceilings and a ceiling fan light fixture combo. Um, layout is we're gonna have the master bedroom over here, and three other bedrooms on this side, and kitchen right in front. Um, we do have a coat closet there on the right. Kind of give you a little shot. There are plugs up there. Might be able to see in the uh, little wedges up there. We got some outlets. Um, flooring in good shape. The trim, it's been painted recently and definitely be good for a cycle. Um, so coming off the dining room and kitchen side to the left of the house, we've got a little hallway with a bedroom in the back, a bathroom, little linens closet here. A bedroom and then the front bedroom this one's on the smaller side and so when you kind of come in there's a little bit of an angle here um, big windows that make it bring in a lot of natural light here um, probably be pretty good for an office or a smaller nursery style room and um, quick shot of the closet there bifold doors kind of gives you the kind of a little S coming into the room. It's coming, working our way back towards the house. We've got a bedroom in the middle here. I guess a quick shot, there's a thermostat in the wall. This bedroom, the window faces the side yard. Where's the last one face the front street? And this is the side yard just before the fence in the back. Um, Pretty decent sized bedroom, similar to the last, but without the little S turn, you have a lot more room. Just kind of quick view out the window. It has been recently painted inside as well. Coming back down, the next room we get to is the bathroom. Same flooring throughout the house, but in the bathroom, We've got a single vanity, a little extra storage over to the side and counter space. Kind of updated uh, faucets and light fixtures in here. And then we've got the toilet there. Looks like the curtain rod fell down. But a single piece tub shower surround. With a little bit fancier plumbing fixtures. Do you want to point out additional linen closet here in the bathroom? We'll do a quick little shot underneath. You can see it's copper piping, typical of the air. Coming back out of the bathroom, we'll catch the back bedroom. It's right around this little closet or hallway. These three bedrooms just have single light fixtures up top. This one faces the backyard. Similar closet layout that we saw in the other room. Kind of 
give you a shot out the backyard there. Working our way back towards the uh, dining room and kitchen area. There's the living room to that side. There is a little tile um, landing for the fireplace. Quick inside in the coat closet. Nothing fancy there, but the same flooring we see. Coming down this hallway to the left is the master bedroom in the back of the yard or in the back of the house and to the right we've got the laundry room so right here we've got the washer and dryer and then some cabinetry up above like light fixture exhaust vent and then through here we've got the garage which is two steps down I'm a little busy right now um, over in that corner we'll have the service panel there is some built-in shelving up above the garage and automatic opener. That opener does look a little bit on the older side. Water heater is newer. Um, I forget the year on that, but on the newer side, the furnace and the AC do appear to be more original. And then we've got a water softener over in this corner. To the right, there is a door that goes outside the house. Um, we'll catch that on the outside portion. We got some shelving built up on the side and these walls as well. So coming out of the garage, you first enter into the laundry room. <clears throat> and then from the laundry room, you hang a left and you kind of go through the hallway, either straight ahead's the master or the left is the living room and kitchen area. And the master, we just have a single light fixture up top, a little bit larger window checking out the backyard and walk-in closet and bathroom over in the corner there. For the closet, pretty good size. Got some built-in shelving and then two runs of hangers. And then we've got crawl space access in here. And a little bit more room for hanging back there. In the main bathroom, as soon as we come in, the toilet's behind the door. And we've got just a single piece shower with a single vanity, but oversized. Possibly could add dual vanities down the road. Um, that. And then we've got the same plumbing fixtures in this bathroom as we did in the other. This one's just got the sliding door instead of a curtain with the tub shower fixture and then over here we have same style toilet we saw in the hallway bathroom I'm going to check out the kitchen we want to say the paint's in pretty good shape throughout um, just probably needs a little extra cleaning um, right here we've got the dining room area with the pendulant light hanging over that with the slider door in the back. The cabinets are in pretty good shape. You see a little bit of wear right here on the trim pieces, but as far as the faces of the door, they're in good shape. The countertops look pretty good too. Um, could use some caulking along the backsplash there. All the cabinets do have a little pool hardware. Um, we've got stainless steel stove, a black microwave and range hood then over here we've got the cabinet or the pantry pretty good size stainless steel refrigerator cabinetry above and then over here missed the dishwasher on the first run double sink with a garbage disposal over on this side and Lazy Susan here. Looks like they cut out on this side. In this case, if something drops back there. Um, and getting ready to step out back. So as soon as you come outside, there's one concrete step down before you get to the patio. Um, you can see along the edge of the house, you've got 
kind of a mix between dirt and lava rocks surrounded with a little concrete edge some raised flower beds over in that corner um, three different style fences along the edges perimeters we've got a little fire pit built over here and then this side we've got landscape timbers and a white rock <clears throat> over here we've just got a dirt unfinished area with the um, no gate access on this side there is in that corner you see a little telecommunications box coming over on this side got a little bit wider area you can see the uh, natural gas meter and the condenser coil right beside that door that was in the garage um, and then there's that dual gate that allows for a little bit more parking back here for an excess vehicle all right and that wraps up this one <laughs>